hi dosto welcome to you all in my youtube channel and today in this video i will give you the lot of new jobs maybe you don't know even i don't know you know many of the jobs so what you can do with your pharmacy degree in australia you know so this video is based on the scenario in australia but this can be uh, applicable in the other countries so if you are from india and all those kind of developed countries developing countries so there might be not the all the jobs are available as you know many of you are complaining in india there is no jobs in jobs maybe they are paying very underpaid like 5000 monthly or maybe the 10000 monthly so 10000 monthly means they are just paying 200 australian dollar in australia the pharmacist can make within 2 hours you know because here the paid is about up to 50 dollar per hour yeah, is very very normal here so you can imagine that you are getting a same degree in you know, in india because of the politicians your politicians are busy dividing hindu and muslims and all these and no one is care about the jobs and no one care about the pharmacist and because we are talking about pharmacist i am not talking about others so you know So in this video, I am going to uh, give you the what are the types of the jobs, and um, in Australia, what is the the system, uh, how much, which degree you can do, and all these, and as a foreign pharmacist, how you can do here. So this go to, this video may be going to be somewhat long, so please watch the full video, and. Um, if you can follow me on facebook instagram because and youtube and dr akram form dr akram ahmed my name just type you, you, you can because many of the information i cannot made a video so i normally share lot of the information jobs in abroad phd is in all these so you can follow my pages in um, and facebook instagram and youtube as well and this is my i am the one of the editor in chief for this general if you have any paper or something So uh, you, you can uh, visit this website. And my name is Dr. Akram Ahmed. I'm a pharmacist and a professor and researcher and health policy analyst in Australia. And uh, so let's begin for this video. So if you are seeing here in uh, in Australia, uh, here is a two type degrees. There can be a pharmacist. One is four year B form. This is after twelfth. the student can directly join b form four year then after four years study then they have to go for one year internship then after internship they have to write a exam this is called oski exam this is a oral exam they have to show their competency and their learning clinical uh, knowledge and all these then finally they will be a pharmacist if some of them are not finished before and they go some other courses some health science or any science courses geology botany bsc something like bs you know then after they realize they want to come into the pharmacy and many of them are working as a pharmacy technicians or pharmacy assistant and later they think they want to be a pharmacist then they can directly enter into m form this is a two year m form after a bachelor degree any of the science bachelor degree any 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 degree then you can be enter into the pharmacy profession then after they have to finish one year uh, internship then again oski exam they have to pass then they can be a pharmacist so what is the scenario for foreign pharmacist for example if you are from other country apart from australia then you have to be a four year pharmacy degree this is minimum degree you know Uh, now maybe you are pharmd pharmd is uh, five year in pakistan six year in india and maybe six year in uh, iran uh, jordan many countries uh, the, uh, they have but here is the minimum requirement they give four year degree so you are eligible to write a caps exam then you have to write a caps exam in your country online you can give this exam but after this exam also you are not um, i mean getting a job here the problem here is visa is not given uh, many ways is here to get a visa some other other things uh, once you got visa then you have to go for internship then again you have to write a oski exam or pharmacist or other, other uh, you can directly you can come to australia for m form then you can uh, save this phase for caps exam no, no need to write for you and then you can go directly for the internship in oski exam in pharmacy that that will be easy for you but you know 
but if you want to uh, uh, you have any discussion any anything then you can discuss with me and uh, you can whatsapp me um, uh, but i am give this is a uh, paid consultation so if you want my consultancy you can i hear the news in india the charge is about uh, 5 lakh to 10 lakh uh, for pharmacists those are planning to go uh, canada or, or uh, australia so my advice is them no need to go with them they are charges very very high and uh, you know they just uh, uh, they just i mean but what they think this is not possible in australia they are just promising fake fake promises here so here you can see this is a chart of uh, what um, what can i do with a pharmacy degree so i will tell you one by one here and uh, because in australia there is a b form m form and then there is a one degree is called b form and management so some of the students are getting uh, b form then third year onward they have to attend some of the management courses so for them a degree is they give b form plus management i mean like b form plus mba you know so mostly this is also very highly demanded here because majority of pharmacists are working in community pharmacies and if you have a management degree then, then you can be a manager in, uh, in hospital in, in pharmacy and in industry lot of things you can do so we will see one by one so if you want to be a registered pharmacist in australia after finishing your degree then you have to go for one year internship then after you can practice as a uh, pharmacist here but um, then you have, there is a certain type of the uh, pharmacy here first is a uh, pharmacy uh, sorry primary care uh, uh, pharmacist then there is a community pharmacist then hospital pharmacist then industrial government and ngo you know these are i'm not saying just the just for uh, the names in india mostly majority of the teachers whatever they are saying in school majority that, that, that they just a fake you know there is no uh, jobs in market mostly the in employment in industry in hospital are very little and community pharmacies is rental basis no one hire a pharmacist and all this but here all these jobs are available pharmacists are working here in primary care there are uh, certain type like consultant pharmacist then general uh, gp pharmacist gp you know general practice uh, uh, a clinic is there then there will be a pharmacist then age care pharmacy there is a old age people we can say like geriatric pharmacist here age care pharmacist then there is a uh, some um, like aboriginal health services pharmacist also here this is a indigenous australian population for the for them there is a different need for them so there is a specialized pharmacist needed for them then there is a diabetes uh, educator then another one is a poisonous uh, information specialist then defense for pharmacist the mental health pharmacist so these are all areas comes under the primary care pharmacist so most of the pharmacists also are working in this area but majority of the pharmacists is about 70 to 80 percent only working into the community pharmacies so in community pharmacies you can be a consultant pharmacist you can be a compounding pharmacist you can be a professional services pharmacist pharmacy owner you know all this you can consultant pharmacists are very highest paid for them and they give some consultation especially the home medication review for them and the pay is very very high for them and compounding pharmacists some of like um, um, chemotherapy and all these so they have to be component services they give some some services for example the uh, uh, education for diabetes hypertension or something like this and all these so they have to become community level mostly employer pharmacist then pharmacist in, in charge then pharmacy manager you know mostly uh, first they will hire you as a pharmacist simple then you can be a pharmacist in charge as full pharmacy after a certain year of experience then you can be a pharmacy manager then we will go ahead the hospital pharmacist hospital pharmacist is the highest paid in australia as well um, but um, not that much jobs are available here so majority of the pharmacists are working communities and um, and can primary care pharmacies so if do this together is about 80 percent pharmacists are working community and primary care pharmacists and some of them are hospital pharmacists then there will be a e-med pharmacist to e-medicine you know or online they then stewardship pharmacies like infectious disease pharmacy then clinical pharmacists is there clinical trial pharmacists is there then discharge liaison pharmacists is there specialist pharmacists is there especially for example like oncology or certain the, like specialized area then there will be like need with like a 
बी सी पी एस और सर्टन ऑफ और रेजिडेंसी ए पर्टिकुलर डिपार्टमेंट दैन यू कैन बी ए स्पेशलाइज फार्मासिस दैन नेक्स्ट इज ए कंपाउंडिंग फार्मासिस दैन मेडिकेशन सेफ्टी फार्मासिस सो यू कैन सी दीज ऑल आर फार्मासिस दे आर रियली अवेलेबल इन हॉस्पिटल यू कैन सी इन इंडियन सीनेरियो दीज जॉब्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल दैट जस्ट ऑन द टेक्सट बुक्स दिज दिस अवेलेबल नॉट इन द प्रैक्टिकली बट इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया ऑल दीज जॉब्स आर अवेलेबल इन प्रैक्टिकली सो वंस यूर हायर दे विल हायर लाइक अलग लाइक सीनियर फार्मासिस दिस इज लाइक जनरल लेवल इन फार्मेसी यू नो दैन सीनियर फार्मासिस दैन डिप्यूटी फार्मेसी डिप्यूटी डायरेक्टर ऑफ फार्मेसी दैन डायरेक्टर ऑफ फार्मेसी दैन एरिया हेल्थ डायरेक्टर डिस्ट्रिक्ट वाइज यू नो यू कैन बी ए हेल्थ फॉर दैट दैन दैन इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडस्ट्रियल फार्मासिस एंड टी जी एन एन पी एस यू नो दैन ऑस्ट्रेलियन हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट एन एस डब्ल्यू एन एस डब्ल्यू मीज दैट वाट एवर द स्टेट इज हियर इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया सो यू कैन वर्क देयर दैन स्टेट मिनिस्ट्री इज देयर दैन इन ऑल दिस यू नो सम ऑफ द ऑर्गनाइजेशन यू कैन वर्क हियर इन टी जी ए दिस इज ए इज लाइक दिस इज सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ द बॉडीज लाइक इन इंडिया इज वी कॉल एफ डी ए और वी कॉल लाइक सी डी एस सी ओ सो मोस्टली दे कैन वर्क लाइक सेल्स एंड मार्केटिंग रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड रेगुलटी अफेयर्स मैनुफैक्चरिंग क्वालिटी कंट्रोल मेडिकल लाइसेंस साइंसलाइजन और द मेडिकल इंफॉर्मेशन राइटर मेडिकल राइटर स्टार्ट योर ऑन हेल्थ और मेडिकल बिजनेस रेगुलेटरी अफेयर फार्म को विजिलेंस सो दीज ऑल आर जॉब रिक्वायर्ड ए रजिस्टर्ड फार्मासिस्ट एज आई टोल्ड यू यू हैव टू फिनिश योर डिग्री दैन यू हैव टू गो वन ईयर इंटर्नशिप दैन यू विल बी ए रजिस्टर्ड फार्मासिस्ट यू नो बट इफ यू आर नॉट गोइंग ए Uh, internship after your degree after you have finished your b form or m form or management and all this you, you are not going for internship and you are going to be a directly into the research and education and other uh, health care professionals so you can not be a registered pharmacist but you can work in the research and uh, education for example if you are going for m phil degree so you can join any one of the b form those are the honors honors me those have very high uh, percentage of their uh, degree so mostly uh, they of uh, they give to them as a on from a b form honor so they can directly enter into the phd but those are have the low score in pharmacy uh, degree then they have to go first and field degree then they they can go be a, as a uh, phd then after phd then you have to go for certain years of post doc one or two years then you can be a um university lecturer or after phd you can be a hospital scientist and hospital uh, senior hospital scientist these are jobs are available in hospitals you know as i told one of the indian pharmacists he is a clinical pharmacist and he is a hospital scientist you know he is a phd and registered pharmacist here uh, uh, i already uploaded that that video about his journey how he came from india to here and uh, if you are like uh, some uh, uh, others after finishing your degree you are not satisfied with your pharmacy then you can want to be a doctor for example you want to be now doctor then you can, you have to pass this examination is called gamset and interviews gamset and on interviews i mean i already uploaded a uh, three four videos about if you want to work uh, uh, if you want to get admission in the md or ms in australia after your pharmacy degree you can enter how you can enter i already upload the video you can watch my previous video for that so then after that they can be a dentist or they can be a uh, doctor you know so after so i hope you understand all these are the the jobs in uh, in uh, in australia so majority of the australian pharmacists are earning very very high if you are in city for example you are sydney in melbourne your salary will be less and your the expenses is very high for living this is i'm telling for especially for you are planning to come in australia but if you are going some regional areas they are pay up to 50 dollar per hour and um, living expenses are very less so you can save a lot of money um, uh, monthly you can save about 2 to 3 lakh after your expenses and all these taxes and all these so if you are a foreign pharmacist and planning to come australia i already made many videos so you can watch on them and if you are new in my channel please go to channel and subscribe the channel i already upload uh, more than 200 videos if you are planning to go abroad especially us canada australia 
and UK, uh, Singapore, Saudi Arabia, UAE, whatever your country you are thinking, I already made in your video. I'm and I uploading, divide a lot of the videos and. Um, so I hope you like this video and please comment on this video. You tell me that how much salary you are getting at the pharmacist.